today I'm going to tell you about a catch-22 situation that I often encounter. I found boot making in 1990 when I answered an ad in the local newspaper. I now have 24 years of experience in creating inlay and overlay, building boots, and working with leather. My experience and skills would be valuable to the footwear industry or a fashion education program. The problem is this, I don't have a college degree. However, if I had gone to college before I read that ad, it probably would have steered me away from boot making. I certainly wouldn't have been able to get a degree in cowboy boot making, and I wouldn't have the practical background I have today. Recently, I was interviewed by a college about teaching some leather courses. The interview was their idea, not mine. They sought me out because of my experience and reputation. The interview went well, but I was informed that without a degree, they couldn't allow me to teach. This leads me back to my dilemma. I have a unique set of skills, but I can't teach because I don't have a college degree. If I had a college degree, I wouldn't have this knowledge or these skills, but I could teach. I'm incredibly lucky because my daughter Morgan, who's in college, is on summer break and she's going to be working for me this summer. I'm Morgan and I've been told that I'm eating her out of house and home. One of the things my mom had me do for her was lace in a steel shank. Can't see it now because she's put the sole on, but I'm the one who crisscrossed. What I mean is I laced in the shank with the leftover inseaming threads and I used this tool. I started out using it kind of like this, which is probably not how you're supposed to hold it. But by the end, I felt comfortable holding the tool and I really enjoyed doing the shanks for mom. I liked placing the shanks for my mom because I felt useful and it was really cool to see the finished product. And afterward, I told my mom that kids today would have so much more self-esteem if they learned a craft. Young kids have arts and crafts projects and they get so proud of themselves for making necklaces or photo frames. Then that all stops and instead they learn how to fill in worksheets and work in group projects. There's no finished product for them to see and there's no sense of individual accomplishment. Even though I haven't done it in a while, I know that if it was winter during the zombie apocalypse, I could make myself gloves to keep my hands warm. And I know that's a silly scenario that will never happen, but the point is, I feel proud of myself. And kids today don't have that. This week I'm leveling heels, and today I want to talk about a mistake that beginners often make. I've got the final layer on my boots, and as you can see, I'm going to have to do some leveling on this last layer in order to get the boot level with my rubber heel cap. The heel is higher at the front than in the back, so I'm going to need to take some off the front. This is a common problem with cowboy boots because of the rounded shank, you end up with a whole lot more material at the front as you're building your heels than you do in the back. As much as possible, you want to avoid trying to take all of the material off of the front of the very last layer. You don't want that last layer to just be a wedge. The last layer on my boots this time is going to be a little more wedge shape than I might have wished. To avoid this problem, try to take a little bit off the front of every layer, and that way you won't end up with the final layer that needs everything taken off the front of it. You can see how on this boot I did a much, much better job of leveling each layer so that when I got to the end it's almost already leveled. Of course I had several more layers to work with so that made it easier. Leveling heels is not easy and it's not intuitive. In order to make your job easier you need to take out all of the excess material before you begin trying to level the heel. There's no reason to be trying to level a bunch of material that you're going to be cutting off or sanding away anyway. For these boots, I'm using a number five rubber heel cap. I'm going to mark this on here, position it just where it needs to be, draw the rubber heel cap on, and now you can see all of the excess that I have going on here. All of this back here is excess, this up here is excess. There's no reason for me to be trying to level it. I'm going to get rid of it before I actually begin trying to level this spinal heel layer. Now I'm going to take it to the sander 
and I'm going to get rid of all this excess back here, then I'll level the heel. made it easier on myself because now I'm only leveling what actually needs to be leveled and not a bunch of excess around the edges. product this week, I'm showing you these leather bracelet instruction books. Each booklet comes with patterns and instructions on how to make its corresponding bracelet. Mom made the patterns and I scanned them into the computer, sized them for scale, and printed them off for the booklets. I also arranged these leather squares and beading strips by color because that sort of thing is important to me. Each leather square is kangaroo leather and is big enough to make at least one bracelet and provide inlay and overlay pieces for other projects. The instruction books themselves are $45, each leather square is $15, and the beading strips are $6 a piece. They are also kangaroo leather. If you buy an instruction book and three leather squares for $90, you'll get three beading strips for free. And if you buy all three booklets with the leathers, I'll even throw in my little sister. No, seriously, take her. Recently, I was interviewed by a college about teaching some leather. Teaching some leather. Yeah. Bad leather. <laughs> Learn. Leather is so hard to teach. It just won't listen. It's really disobedient. <laughs> it is. Recently, I was interviewed by a college about teasing. <laughs> <laughs> about teasing leather. <laughs> Recently, I was interviewed by a college about teasing. <laughs> Why can't I say teaching now? <laughs> okay.